Good evening, Spartans. I'm so honored and humbled to be here. Uh, it's, it's beyond words to explain. Uh, when I compare myself to the football stars and the men and women's basketball stars and the volleyball stars who are in the Hall of Fame, I really don't feel like I'm in their company, but I'm just honored that the committee voted me in. When I was a player here and a coach, I never really felt like I was an elite player or an elite coach. I just felt like it was my job to go every day to work and try my best and work hard and hope good things will happen. So I'm indebted to many, many people. I want to start here and, th and thank a few if I miss some. I, I feel terrible, but giving us some thought. First, Ed Bloley was a recruiter from St. Louis, Tom Bloley's dad. He recruited me here. So I'm grateful for him that I became a Spartan. And Joe Kearney, uh, the athletic director who hired me as the head coach, I was a young 30-year-old assistant, and he took a chance on me. And I'm um, very, very grateful to Dr. Kearney. To George Perlis, who was the AD, who really funded men and women's soccer at Michigan State at a Big Ten level. And that was huge for us because we were kind of behind the pack for a while. And to uh, Clarence Underwood, one of the finest gentlemen I've ever met in my whole life. Great role model and mentor for me. Ron Mason, a great athletic director who really gave me a lot of support, and gave our program a lot of support and made us feel important. And then Mark Hollis. To me, the greatest athletic director in the history of Michigan State, the best athletic director in the country. I think Spartan people are spoiled because he's an All-American and I don't think he gets enough credit. So to all those athletic directors, thank you very much. Also, Damon Rensing, who's the coach, head coach now, a wonderful coach, wonderful person. He really uplifted our program, brought us energy, youth, technology, a lot of things we didn't have. Very grateful to Damon for that. But the one person who, who I think most of all, and I wouldn't be here without her is my wife, Janice. When I was a coach, I was like most college soccer coaches, most college coaches, kind of obsessive and just wrapped up in my team and my program and put all my energy into it. My wife, on the other hand, taught public school special ed for 34 years, did the majority of raising our two kids, cleaned our house, bought our groceries, cooked our meals, paid all the bills, because Joe was at soccer practice. <laughs> and so without her, believe me, I would not be here. <laughs> I'm going to go off the beaten path here a little bit. My, I will no longer talk about sports tonight. I'm going to talk about the beautiful university that we're all part of, Michigan State University. When I grew up in St. Louis, Missouri, I grew up in the city. And almost all the people around me were very similar, mainly from European backgrounds, mainly Christians, very similar. And I kind of looked at life through, through narrow glasses. I really, when I was a, a youngster, I, I didn't know any African Americans. I didn't know any Asian Americans. I didn't know any Jewish Americans. I didn't know any Arab Americans. I led kind of a sheltered life in the city and felt kind of bad about it. But then when I came to MSU, everything changed. I met wonderful, wonderful students, student athletes, students in the dorms, Asian Americans and Jewish Americans and and Latinos and just wonderful people that I realized were good, hard-working, loving people. And I realized how narrow my scope was in life. MSU opened my eyes up, taught me the beauty of diversity, taught me the beauty of multi-cultures. I learned that there are, there's not one great religion out there. There are many, many great religions that many wonderful people worship under. So it happened at MSU, I learned diversity, caring, acceptance, and these are things that made me 
a much better person, and I think a much better coach. In my career, I coached players from Nigeria, China, South Korea, Mexico, El Salvador, Greece, Germany, and just about every state imaginable. And these young ladies and young men were wonderful, caring people. They didn't care about where we were from or what background we had. They just wanted to be good Spartans, good workers, and good neighbors. So the way I feel, I know there's some discord in this country, but I'm very, very optimistic. I honestly believe in this country and in the world, all those good people we've talked about from all those diverse backgrounds and different cultures and different religions, I think they're going to win in the end. I think good prevails. Good people prevail. I think this country will be just fine. I think this world will be just fine. And I have to thank MSU for opening my eyes and teaching me that there's a big, beautiful, diverse, multicultural world out there. MSU taught me this. I love MSU for doing that. And thank you for having me here tonight.